Hi, welcome to this course AI powered vehicle speed tracking system. So myself Muhammad Yaqub, I am the founder of Scratchland. He is Mr. Pandian, he is senior AI developer at Tendersoft. In this project we are going to cover upon vehicle speed tracking system. Why it is necessary project? Because nowadays lot of accidents are happening day by day. One of the major reason for road accident is over speeding. So to identify the over speeding with help of AI, we have came up with an idea called vehicle speed tracking system. So here we will be using Yolo Weed architecture to identify the vehicle and also we will be using multiple computer vision technique to track the speed of the vehicle. With the both combined, we will be able to get the what is the speed of the vehicle, whether it is a standard speed or a over speed. Whenever the over speed is coming, then we will be creating the alert for the respective person. So this is the overview of the project. So now Pondin will be taking over the project execution and the explanation of the project. Thank you. I'm going to give a brief overview of the project. The project is called Vehicle Speed Tracking System using pre-trained YOLO weight algorithm. With this algorithm, we'll determine the speed of the vehicle using a pixel to meter conversion formula. Let's dive into the project explanation as well as how to run the code. First, you need to navigate to the Vehicle Speed Tracking System project folder, then open it with CMD. Next, type code space dot here and it will redirect you to VS Code. Now VS Code is open. Check whether the necessary files and folders exist in the vehicle speed tracking system folder. We have three sets of input videos, vehicle input 1, vehicle input 2 and vehicle input 3 as well as the YOLO weight class names. There are uh, up to 80 classes in the txt file and then there's requirements um, txt which lists the autolytics packages. Next, sort is a technique used to assign a unique ID to each detected object. Then the IOU technique is used. Next, there's the vehicle speed tracking code followed by YOLO weight and the pre-trained model. First, we need to import the necessary libraries to implement the project. The packages include tkinter, which is used to develop the graphical user interface. Then import file dialog from tkinter as well as tkinter, ttk and threading, which are used for multiprocessing or for managing tasks that allocate shared resources. Next, CV2, which is the OpenCV library, is imported to process video frames, then import time and also sort. Sort is a technique used to assign a unique ID to each detected object. NumPy is used to handle arrays of data. Next, import YOLO from Ultralytics, which is used to pass a frame into the YOLO model. Then, Obtain the detected bonding box coordinates, confidence score and class name. Pillow is a python library used to display a frame in your tkinter window via the image tk library. This is a basic python version. And uh, this is a basic python library which handles basic operations. And we define a a calibration factor which is used to calculate speed of the vehicle using calibration distance and a calibration pixel and a pixel to meter. This calibration factor which is used to fix a measurement from video frames into real world distances. And uh, the calibration distance which we can take it 5 meters in the real world. And uh, the calibration pixels 200 which I, it, it represents 200 pixels in the video frame corresponding to the distances. And then pixel to meter, which is to calculate how many meters each pixel represents in the video frame calibration distance divided by calibration pixels. And then we define the frame rate as 30. This is an average frame rate. It can vary based on the system resources. Stop tracking we set initially as false. Suppose why if we stop the execution then it becomes true and the entire program will be stopped. Initially the video path is none. Once uh, a user has selected 
the video path then the video path is assigned to this variable then we define a tracker uh, which is used to allocate a unique id for each detected object and then we define a yolo model which processes each frame one by one and then outputs the detected objects the log window is initially none and the log text widget is also none and then we load the class names of the yolo weight pretrained model which is used to open your log window and then the log window is initially none and the top level info exists and is not none then the log window has a height of 600 and 400 which makes it easier to write your text in the log text feature after that the log message which is the updated data in log text in the kinter window updates the data into the log widget suppose you want to quit the execution of the program you can use the stop tracking button to quit and uh, the video path has already been defined above and uh, the tracker has also been defined in the previous section of the code if the user has not selected a video file then we should display a message please select your video file first initially stop tracking is set to false but when the user chooses to stop the execution it changes to true for the tracker we need to provide the video path in this video capture function which is used to process a frame actually the previous position is initially empty if any vehicles are detected then the previous position will be updated in this dictionary file which is used to update the log message in another tkinter tab the frames are continuously processed until we stop the execution then cap is a function used to get your frame from the video and ret is either true or false if it is false then stop the execution we are going to display a frame in your tkinter window for that we need to resize the frame to our required size our required size is 800 by 450 so we resize the frame accordingly detections is a variable used to store the detected bounding box information such as the bounding box coordinates of the object as well as the confidence score we are going to store five pieces of information exon yone x2 y2 and the confidence score after that we need to pass a frame into the model which will output the detected objects such as the bounding box confidence score and their class names so here we need to get the results from the results info which is used to obtain the boxes information then i extract the box information one by one such as the coordinates confidence score and uh, class index these are x zone yone x2 and y2 this represents the bounding box of the object and then the confidence score ranges from 0 to 1 while the class index initially goes from 0 to 79 we can convert these indices into their corresponding names and this particular variable is specifically used to store and keep track of those names if the detected object's name is in the list such as car truck or bus and the confidence score is at least 0 0.6 then we can accept this result otherwise we will not accept the result after that convert the rectangle coordinates into integer data type and store them as x one yone x2 y2 convert them into a numpy array format zone yone x2 y2 along with their confidence score if the confidence score is above 0 0.6 then this uh, information is uh, passed to the tracker which is used to obtain a unique object id for the detected object then convert the frame from pgr to rgb format continuously update the frames on the canvas and this part is for quitting the program after processing all the video frames release and destroy everything save it to windows and the 
log message indicates that tracking has stopped and uh, this is a function that creates the image update the frame in the tkinter window and stop the tracking process initially stop tracking is set to false once the user chooses to stop execution it changes to true stop monitoring if the user wants to exit they can click to close the tkinter window and then load a video file first the user needs to select a media file from the folder the supported formats are .mp4 and .avi if the user hasn't selected any video file we should display some information select file then the tkinter window is defined with root as the object the title is set to vehicle speed monitoring system the window size is set to 900 by 700 and the background color is configured next we define buttons for specific parameters such as the button text font size and bold style then we set the style map so that the background is active and we create the vehicle speed monitoring system here the title of the tkinter window is set then a video canvas is created to update your videos followed by creating a label for each button and then we define our buttons the first button is load video which allows the user to provide a video file using this button followed by start tracking stop tracking view logs and exit to close the program now i'm going to show you step by step exactly how to run and execute the code first you need to open up the terminal on your computer and then first you need to install the ultralytics library uh, pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt Now the Ultralytics library is successfully installed on my machine so I'm going to run the vehicle speed tracking py file simply get this file path and then paste it here then press enter Now the tkinter graphical user interface has opened then I'm going to load the video uh click to select and open then click okay then you start tracking now the model inference has started and it is processing the frames one by one and then the speed of the first two cars is it goes up to 10 km per hour Twenty-six, thirty, forty. The average is forty-five. the average speed is 30 next i'm going to provide another set of input videos for that we need to run it again now the tkinter window has opened and then i'm going to load the video and then select another set of videos vehicle input to and then click okay start tracking 
and uh, this is the speed of the each vehicle this is actually the average speed of each vehicle next i'm going to show the log information click to view logs it has opened and this is the log information for each video with the corresponding speed of the vehicle i hope uh, you were able to understand everything from my explanation of the code and the execution process if you have any doubts regarding the project please share your thoughts in the comment section i'm ready to help you thank you hope you enjoyed the course course will surely give you solid foundation in computer vision and then it will help you on your final year projects also and then surely it will help on your cracking your job interviews while implementing this project if you face any kind of difficulty while implementing the project or while setting up an environment or if you get any kind of doubt you can feel free to put in the comment section we will surely will help you in as soon as possible in a better way thank you